Lots of stuff going on as we move toward the end of the week. St. Patrick's Day tomorrow and then March Madness. So let's see how the weather's looking. Here's Ray. Well, the weather's going to hold off for as long as it can, but we will eventually see some rain trying to take over the area. Now, this stuff down to the south of us is not anything we need to be concerned about. I don't think this is going to be too problematic for St. Patrick's Day, aside from maybe a very isolated shower trying to kick back our way, and that would happen pretty early in the day tomorrow. Otherwise, we're going to see those clouds slowly start to break up, and I think our temperatures are going to be taken off as we look for highs in the mid to upper 60s, pretty much area wide. So tonight we go down to the mid 40s here in Pittsburgh, 43 Butler, Washington, 47, 48 Latrobe. It's going to be 50 at the bus stop in the morning in, in Morgantown, and tomorrow's temperatures find their way to the mid to upper 60s again. So very similar temperatures to what we had today. Pretty much everywhere. We get 65 in Indiana, the Trobe and Greensburg at 64, 68 in Pittsburgh, Beaver in the upper 60s, Washington in the mid 60s. You get those mid to upper 60s for Uniontown and Morgantown as well. Now, when it comes to high temperatures the next couple days, they're going to be very, very warm. Then we see those numbers starting to come down for the weekend. And the day this weekend with the best shot for rain is Saturday. So here's how things are going to work out. Yes, tomorrow we could see this very early, very isolated shot of moisture trying to move in. I do not think this is going to be problematic. However, through the day, we'll break up those clouds and we'll start Friday off with sunshine. Beautiful start to Friday. Clouds fill back in and late Friday we start to see some rain, some scattered uh, rain and potentially a couple thunderstorms trying to come together. And when it comes to severe weather potential for Friday, you'll notice it gets close to us, but not quite up to about the Wheeling area, a little close for comfort. So that's something we're going to be watching here between now and, and Friday if that should cross over the line. But as it stands, some rumbles of thunder not out of the question for us once we get late into Friday. And if you're doing uh, any or coming to town for any of these uh, NCAA tournament games, um, mostly cloudy skies take over for Friday afternoon. Once you get into the evening sessions, uh, if you're going out and to get something to eat, just know that you might have some some rain to deal with and heading into the game. Uh, the late game starts after nine, but uh, if you're heading into the game about eight, nine o'clock, some pretty widespread rain is expected by that point. Tonight, 46 degrees, clouds increasing. Any chances for rain are going to be minimal, and that's the same deal for tomorrow with clouds decreasing later in the day. Temperatures in the upper 60s. Your seven day forecast shows that our temperatures, upper 60s and low 70s tomorrow and Friday. Just a, a nice temperature, but we are going to start adding some rain to the equation. And that rain sticks into Saturday, 59 degrees there. But uh, once we get into Sunday, while it's the coolest day of the whole entire forecast, it's one of the brighter ones. So we see those skies clearing out. We carry the sunshine into Monday with a little bump in the temperatures there. Then Tuesday and Wednesday, back to the mid-50s and low-60s with some scattered rain showers attached.